This afternoon we're taking a look at a 2014 uh, Chevy Silverado that we just traded for. It's a WT series, uh, four previous owners. Uh, it's got 190 on the miles. I'm just gonna go around and show you anything if you were here in person that you're gonna see, uh, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, it's got a really great stance about it. It's got a good uh, a good look to it. Kenda tires on it, uh, Kevlar's. Uh, got some ultra wheels. Uh, like I said, tread on them's probably you're probably still around the 10 30 seconds on that tire so still got plenty of life in them for sure uh like i said it is a wt so it has the blackout front end painted lower bumper uh as you can see it's kind of got a few little push-ins there nothing major uh got some chips up here in the front headlights are a little little oxidized but those can clean right up hood's in good shape no major damages uh up here on the front end it's got a small dent and chip right there up on the top i see mirrors are in good shape like i said the wheels are in good shape all the way around uh going down the side uh no major issues i, I see at the top uh by no means there's nothing going on there that that tire is actually way deeper than the other than the other ones there uh there is some rust bubbles right right there as you can see and then along the uh, rocker panel you see that one pushed in right there you see in the inside uh, the door's actually in pretty good shape. There's really not much, there's no rust really on the door itself, uh, except what, right, right there underneath, there is a little bit. Uh, there's a little bit of wear right there on the threshold. Uh, like I said, as you can see right here in the top, and that door doesn't have any rust at all on it. Uh, inside, it's still dirty. It has not been cleaned up yet. So most everything you're seeing here is gonna be, uh, you know, it's gonna be uh, cleaned out and the stains removed uh, when the guys get back uh, uh, get back to work after the holiday. It does have some aftermarket floor mats in it. And like I said, it's just dirt. Uh, it's got a black ice smell, I was gonna say. And right there is the, uh, the <coughs> odor uh, eliminator. The owner's manuals are in there and the four wheel drive shifters on the floor on this with power windows and locks. It does have a Linex uh, spray in on it, good shape. Uh, a little bit of a pop right there on the line X on the tailgate. Uh, rear bumper, good shape, no damages back here. Same way with the tailgate, all intact. Uh, tail lights, honestly, tail lights look brand new. Uh, they're not aftermarket, they look brand new. Uh, there's another can of tire in the back, really good shape. Really not a lot of rust on the on the outer frame there. Uh, it's originally from, uh, looked like it was from Maine originally. Uh, a couple of chips in the paint there and some rust pop uh, popping there on the lower rocker. Uh, looking at underneath it, see, of course, as you can see, the under most all Chevys are going to have undercoatings on the actual frame itself, so uh, you do have surface rust on it. Uh, of course, and you're seeing the tail pop there is going to have rust on it. But uh, other than that, everything else is, you know, as you're going to be expecting from there. Uh, I don't see anything rusted through. Brake lines, everything's uh, looks like it's in in good shape running down there. So looking here in the back, same way as the other side, some seat stains, nothing major. Uh, it does have a spot here on the uh on the seat that's worn pretty common but the armrest isn't worn so it does have a trailer brake also installed on it 190 on the miles let's uh, go ahead and start it up so you can hear it does have a good sound to it like i said 190 120 on the miles uh no lights on no indicator lights on or anything headliners in good shape uh power windows are working front power windows are working in the back it does have some uh looks like somebody trying to probably lock their keys in their car good lock keys in the truck uh, it does have an infotainment system up here uh over audio system uh, turn the fan down uh climate control cruise control uh, lights there, like I said, the four wheel drives down here. And it does shift into four wheel drive. And there's the pocket there in the bottom. So, uh, overhead console for your sunglasses and the lights there. So, all in all, truck's really in good shape. A little bit of rust, but um, 
190,000 miles. Uh, it's probably better than what to be expected. It does have tinted windows in the uh, eyebrow here too. So if you got any questions, let us know.